Hello, my beautiful friends. This is part two of Motion Light Legs. I want to show you some more tricks I'm having fun with. So, if you haven't watched it yet, make sure you watch my previous tutorial about it. I leave it a link in the description so you can make it. It's actually really easy, so you can just copy it. But if you want to follow uh, a longer tutorial about it, make sure you check out the video. And so now we have um, we have this little patch here. I want, as always, to open it up. Click this little arrows there. And uh, what I want to do instead of this time, instead of working with the 2D transform pack. I want to go here and replace this SDF because I want to change the shapes of our light leaks. So let's say, you know, you have a circle and, and then after it, you want to put a SDF twist so we instantly see what's going on here. Make sure you plug it in the same input, this alpha. As you can see, we got little bit like twisting effect and of course we have uh, a value of three twists so if we increase these values let's say 10 you're now gonna see uh, this beautiful twists spiral thing and uh, i don't know i love it so I want you to, to be part of it. Maybe you already found it out because this is the patch and you know, don't be afraid to mess around. Just keep saving, keep save as. When you're not sure what you're doing, just save as. So you have another project, same copy as the one you're working with right now. But if you mess something up, you're sure you have a checkpoint to work with. So let's go and like, let's try something different to the other SDF circles. So let's try to add a SDF. Let's do, uh, what we can do. Let's try, SDF repeat and see what happens. Let's change the value to 0.5 to see if we can make something here. 005, 005. No. This is not working, but why isn't it? Oh, let's try because this is not centered. I can see a little difference now. No. All right, let's try it. This is the also, you know, a part of experimenting. Sometimes things just don't work out. So let's, maybe because, oh, I know why. This is the black one. So this is the black one and it has a black color. So let's go back here. And if we go back to main and probably change this color, you're gonna see it. Really, right? All right, doesn't really change anything, but let's try with the SDF shear because repeat with this lighting things, it doesn't really work. All right. 
Yeah, you can see something happens, like... You know? Maybe with a little bit of loop animation, you can just make it loop and see what's going on here. So, this is what is going on. Changing the pivot is fun. Alright. Let's go further. Let's try to... Let's try to change this orange one. So, here let's try instead of SDF circle, let's try to actually replace with the... I don't know, SDF star. Let's try. SDF star. Other radius, maybe 0.2. Inner radius, 1. I can start to see a little. Can you see it? This little star. Let me try and increase. First, let's change it to alpha for a second. Alright, as you can see these little stars here, let's try to increase the size, 0.5, it was 0.25, let's increase the size, and just go back to main and put color B back to zero so we can actually see what's going on. And it's, I don't know, what, what is that, guys? Isn't it like something from the space? Is it like, is it the sun? What is that? I love it. I just love it. And uh, of course, you know, you have to position it and like make it, you can't just leave it like this in front of the screen. Maybe you can, but you know, I, I, I like to put like a black and white under this, sounds cool to me. Or we can keep messing because I just show you the twist. But if we now add a like rotational repeat, you're gonna, you know, have something even different and like increase the times bound, let's say 10. See? It looks like a little flower now. And uh, yeah, you can do even more, just like, let's say we have this and you want, you want another, let's say some circles, just running through a smooth union. And maybe you can add the rotational repeat here. But actually, I want to do this on the SDF1 and this SDF2, and then connect them in the alpha. As you can see, you can increase the amount of the smoothness. And then change a little bit the settings here. Make the circle a little bit smaller. And let's try to let's try to loop the position of the circle in active loop animation to a center, and you can see the little or you can try and go with the runtime. Runtime makes it disappear completely. So let's go with the loop animation and maybe a transition. We have two values, so we want it back to two. And we want it from zero to one, why not? Because it's the maximum amount, so you, you can have it one to two. 
but of course you can have it 0.5 1 and 0 1 it changes a little bit but you can have 1 0 and you have it just on the side I don't know if it's like something cool you can work with guys the one thing so so just try with many SDFs just as possible as you can see here so let's go back to the twist for a second delete everything so let's say we have a twist and after the twist we can try something more like I really like those SDF Nuller, it's just like really easy, you try it, if you like it, you keep it, if not, you delete it. So SDF Nuller, I want to annul at 0 0.1, if it's possible, at 0 0.9. So with, um, it kind of makes a glow effect, wasn't expecting this. So if you see an alpha like this now it's just like uh, I don't know we, we zoomed in in the sun without this it's just we, we're back to the sun so you have to try them around and like experiment with values but you can also add an SDF uh, complement and you see if you like it you keep it in this case kind of mess around everything so you you don't want it let's just now with the sdf just one last rotational repeat we tried it We try the regular repeat. No, we did not. Look, look what happened. <laughs> like, come on, guys. Why am I sharing the secrets with you guys? Because I love you. I don't have other reason to do it. Oh my god, I love it. Here's the nerd part because I see that many of you just watch like 15 seconds of my videos, but I like long videos and long overview because I'm old, I'm getting 28 in some months and uh, I like preview, but I'm a nerd and I prefer like one hour long videos. I don't know if you like me. I'm just changing values while talking so you can see just what's happening. And uh, yeah, this is what we have. I, I think it's really cool and uh, you can achieve a lot with this. If you go back on ad, you can see it's like some something magical is happening and uh, of course I'm not gonna edit this video at all you're gonna have it just like this and I'm gonna give you this template so you can try it and uh, have a checkpoint now to make sure you will have the same thing I have to go back to main you have to do this now because Spark, uh, some version ago, he was you didn't need to do this. He remembered every time your settings, but now I feel like every time they are a little bit different. And I'm not sure it's, if it's me, but it doesn't say actually the patch until you do. You click on the patch and you you go convert to patch assets, and then you have it here. And you can rename it like twisting thing and uh, and now you you should have it maybe convert to patch group again just to make sure and that's it I hope you like it guys thank you so much for watching
as you can see I got my fancy microphone here I hope you can see better my voice so you can follow up and uh, yeah much love see you in the next one